The EA-16G Growler's two primary missions are electronic attack and the suppression of enemy air defenses. To accomplish these missions, Growlers are outfitted with a host of advanced electronic warfare systems. Block 1 Growlers are equipped with up to three ALQ-99 radar jamming pods, along with an ALQ-218 receiver and a Raytheon ALQ-227 communication countermeasure system that's mounted in what's typically the FA-18's gun bed. Block 2 Growlers are equipped with APG-79 active electronically scanned array radar with passive detection mode and active radar suppression, an ALQ-218 digital radar warning receiver, and an ALE-47 countermeasures dispenser. These systems allow the EA-18G Growler to support and protect friendly forces on the ground, in the air, and at sea by jamming enemy radar and providing electronic protection. In addition, the Growler is able to provide electronic intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance data to other friendly aircraft and can maintain uninterrupted radio communications in heavily jammed environments with its interference cancellation system. The Growler's ALQ-227 communications countermeasure set allow the EA-18G to not only digitally jam enemy communications over a broad frequency, but also to locate, record, and play back those communications. Growler knows how to collect and crunch data. An intriguing aspect of the EA-18 Growler is that it's a data-collecting machine. Not only does it penetrate air defenses quickly, but it can find the location of enemy communications, jam them, then record what the adversary is saying. The data is sent back to other aircraft like early warning birds such as the E-2 Hawkeye and later exploited for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance analytics. The Growler also works to make sure friendly communication is not exploited by the enemy. Defense contractors have improvements in mind. These capabilities are only going to get better. Boeing has agreed to deliver a five-year Growler modification program that improves the data collection even further. The upgrade will strengthen the EA-18G's ability to transfer information to other airplanes processing of ISR data will be better. Raytheon is also providing the Growler with the next generation jammer. This will give electronic warfare activities extended range and ensure it can engage more targets at the same time. The Growler's only going to improve over time since it's based on a versatile platform. To further demonstrate its value, the Department of Defense is doubling down on the Growler. The Navy said in an announcement earlier this month that it'll modernize sensor hardware and software for the EA-18G Growler through a $71.4 million contract modification. The Air Force wants its own Growler, and Congress agrees. The Department of Defense likes the Growler so much that it's transferring the concept to the Air Force. It's about time the Air Force had this capability as well. The fiscal year 2022 National Defense Authorization Act has the appropriation set aside to outfit existing Air Force fighters with the next generation jammer. The Air Force currently lacks its own version of the Growler, and this will change over time. A versatile multi-role electronic warfare airplane. With the EA-18G Growler, a carrier battle group has many options. It can send the airplane out on patrols to collect intelligence. In a potential conflict, it'll create a safe path for attack aircraft, such as the Super Hornet. It can communicate with the E-2 Hawkeye while snooping enemy communications. It'll be the number one airplane for an aerial battle scenario in East Asia. Electronic warfare and suppression of enemy air defenses is an absolute necessity in the 21st century warfare. The Navy should feel blessed that it has the EA-18G Growler's eyes and ears out in front of a carrier battle group. It can not only jam and neutralize enemy radar and weapon systems, but it can also collect their communications. This data exploitation is one thing that makes the Growler unique, and it's only going to get better with the various modifications and upgrades in store over the coming years.